Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Dad Talk. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ken. Hit the subscribe button while you're here. I do put out new videos uh, related to baby products and just dad life and parenting and all of that goodness. Today we're going to be looking at the Graco Slim Fit 3LX. Uh, this was sent to us by Graco not that long ago. Uh, we have been using it for probably around two months. We also have the Graco Extend to Fit. So today I'm just going to be going over the differences that I've noticed between the two. Um, what we think is good about this, what we think is not so good about this. And it's just going to be an honest review. I mean, we we still prefer our Graco Extend to Fit. That's not to say this is a bad product. This product has a lot of cool features that a lot of parents might be into. Uh, one of which is that you can fit three of these all in a row in the back seat of, of most vehicles, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, most car seats are pretty, uh, pretty wide and a little uh, complicated to make that work. This actually makes it work quite easily. So if you have three little ones, this might be a good option for you. If you've just got one or two babies, I really wouldn't recommend this. Um, unless you've got like a smaller vehicle, like a Toyota Echo or a Yaris or a Honda Fit or anything like that. We actually have a Honda Fit. So this did come in handy for certain situations where we just needed a little bit more space. This does measure at 16.7 inches uh, across wide, which really isn't that much space taking up, which is great. Uh, a couple of cool things about this. It is made with a nice, cool mesh, nice breathable mesh. Uh, keeps your baby nice and cool, not a whole lot of sweating going on. It attaches just like any other Graco car seat. If you want to know how to do that, this is not going to be an installation video. That will be linked down below. Um, so make sure you check that out if you have any questions in regards to installing this. But it does install like most other Graco car seats. It's got the latch system. Uh, it's It's got just about everything you'd need to, to make it a breeze. So check out that link down below if you need help installing it. But let's get back on to the features with this. It has two cup holders, which I think is great because Scarlett, uh, she tends to like snacks with her beverage. So one cup holder can hold her snacks. The other cup holder can hold her beverage, which is absolutely amazing. It does have a 10 position adjustable height and the shoulder straps on this actually adjust with this. So you, there's no need to readjust these. If you're, if you're going up a size and you just kind of just go up a little bit, these will extend with it, which is absolutely awesome. It does have the removable uh, head cushion here. So if you, your baby's got kind of like a wide head, Scarlet kind of does as well. So we did have to remove this uh, with her in the car because her head was just constantly like just rubbing up against this and it just looked like she was annoyed. So we did take this out, gave her much more room. Uh, the bottom piece is removable as well, uh, but we'll get into that in a second. It has nice little shoulder straps here. They Velcro uh, the pads on and off, which is absolutely amazing. So it makes it nice and easy if you need to take it off and clean it. Uh, the buckles attached just like any other. You got your plastic um, chest strap here, uh, chest buckle here, and then you've got your typical metal buckles that go right into this. Pretty cool. It does recline, it does have multiple positions, so if you pull this out, you are able to recline it. Uh, you are able to easily put it right back up. Um, it also has this gauge on the side. I don't know if you guys can really pick that up, but it lets you know when this is safe. Uh, is it, for your it lets you know when this is safe for your baby. Uh, once that ball is in that blue area, you're pretty much good to go. This car seat has gone through some very rigorous testing and safety procedures so that you know your baby is going to be safe. It has been side impact tested, rollover tested, uh, pretty much all types of, of car accident tested. Uh, so you know that your baby is going to be safe in a product like this from Graco. Uh, they, do, they do stand by there. <laughs> They do stand by their product safety standards, which is absolutely amazing. Um, you know, they put a lot of thought and a lot of hard work into it. Uh, that gives you a little bit of peace of mind. Now, let's talk about the things that we don't like about this car seat. Uh, one is this, the bottom buckle. On this bottom buckle here, uh, that these pretty much latch into, uh, this is not adjustable. The, the size and length of this strap, not adjustable. Scarlet has some pretty thick thighs. So when you snap these in, the plastic here kind of goes right onto her thighs. Now you can move the position of this, 
out more. There are three slots for it. Um, that doesn't really solve the issue that we were having with it. It would be nice if this buckle had an adjustable uh, length on it so that we could bring it up about an inch or two uh, because Scarlett's uh, thighs were kind of getting just buried with this. Now the extend to fit has this buckle as well obviously but it's a little longer and I don't understand why they went with a shorter buckle for this model. Uh, maybe it's just something that I got and no one else got because this was sent as kind of like a review model from uh, from Graco so I'm not sure I'll have to hit them up and if there's any info on that I will definitely leave it in the description down below but as far as I can tell this is not adjustable aside from the position that it goes into but it's length it's just it just doesn't work for Scarlett we found that she was after a while like for one month in this she was great she loved it and then as she grew these started just kind of going in her thighs and there was like no amount of adjustment that we could do on this that would help her out. Uh, so we put her back in the extend to fit which has a longer buckle um, and no problems, no problems at all. She was after a month of using this starting to cry, starting to get bothered by these so we're like okay we're not, we're not going to do that. However, don't let that deter you from purchasing the slim fit. Um, our baby is very chunky. Um, she does take after her parents. We're not, you know, the, the most fit people. Um, and it's not like it was causing any damage. Like, she wasn't bruised or anything like that. It was just uncomfortable, and we could tell. Um, so from a comfort standpoint, we just decided to switch her back to the extended fit. It's a little roomier, a little bigger, and this buckle seems to be a little longer on that model. Um, but it is pretty cool that you can adjust the position for where it's at, because obviously as your baby grows, you're going to have to pull it out and uh, extend it out a little more. So that is a good feature to have. If I were to rate this product a one through 10, I would probably give it a seven or an eight. Um, the extend to fit is right up there at a nine or a 10. So this is just behind it. Uh, if you have multiple little ones and that's your selling point on this and you wanna have you know, three car seats in your back seat, then I could see it being rated you know, nine or 10 out of 10 uh, because that does make a huge difference if you've got a nice big growing family. Uh, but for us, we're going to stick with the Graco Extend to Fit. Uh, we might use this uh, rare instances if we need to put a car seat in another car. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to keep her in the other car seat. This is not a bad car seat. We do like it. We do enjoy it. Um, Scarlett enjoyed it for about a month. Uh, maybe if she slims down a little bit now, we'll throw her back in it. Because she's still in that chunky phase. Like She's still got the, the rolls and she's not going to have them forever. They're going to go away. She should slim right out. Adjusting the, the placement of this should help to solve that problem uh, in the future. But for right now, with the, the thickness of her thighs and the rolls and whatnot, it's just not it's just not working out. So we'll stick to our extend to fit until she seems to uh, slim a little bit. Now, if you have any other information in regards to this car seat that you would like uh, to let me know, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, like this video if you found it at all helpful. Uh, if any of the information I've provided is uh, relevant to you, just definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new. Um, but like I said, I I think it's a great car seat for the for the money, for the value, and for the the features. It's just not for us right now. Uh, we'll have to revisit this uh, this car seat in the future. Well, anyway, guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, like I said before, make sure you hit subscribe. I put out videos twice a week, every Monday, every Friday. And I hope to see you again soon. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of this car seat. And I will see you next time.